Good day mates, welcome back. So you join me on what is an absolutely glorious Sunday morning in sunny St Helens, Northwest UK. So I've been doing a little bit on my uh, Andy's HHQ 116 Tiger 1 done quite a bit off camera because it was very very fiddly bits and pieces uh, I had to do some filling and stuff like that which is a bit boring to watch I guess so what we can do now is just have a little looky looky at what I've actually done so far to the lower hole so let's have a little look So here we are with what I've done so far on the upper hull. Radiators are done, the fans, easy peasy, one, two, three pieces for each. No problems there. Side balls are on, two pieces for each. But buyer beware, I did make a cock up and it was probably just me. But in case uh, anyone else is building it when you put these two bits together there's holes on the outer piece and pins on the inner piece that you have to line up and the, obviously the pins go in the holes and uh, it's tickety boo you end up with that little flange all the way around which is for the top deck but and, <laughs> and it may be age related but I put one piece I can't remember which side it was but one piece I thought the holes had matched up I put them together glued it and it set overnight but the two side bits there was no flange on it they were both level and I just never noticed it at the time but luckily I managed to separate it with the help of a trusty scalpel blade and uh, everything's fine now that's all the mounting for the MG uh, there's the vision block the rear of the vision block all this I mean you're never gonna see it so I don't know what what the deal is with that Here you can get a good view of all the torsion bars 16 of them uh, the back went on, no problem at all. And uh, let's have a little look in detail at the back and the front. So there's a good view of the back. Uh, I'm actually building the 812 Tiki tank, Tiger 1. And from reference photos that I've seen, and using the Dragon Tiki kit or Tiki whatever you want to call it which is supposedly from what I've read the closest to the actual real life tank um, it had no rear shrouds over the exhaust so I'm happy to, to go with that I'm not fussed about that and it didn't have those little stack things on it either just had these top Bits. so they flip up as you probably know when the exhaust comes out bloody 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 so they were two pieces for those one piece for that obviously no problem at all the armoured shroud things here no problems with that you have to stick those two Frankenstein bolts in the side there that towing pin tool you have to stick that on yourself no problem and the um, let's have a little zoom edge the uh, jack there I think it was one two three four five six pieces and then one two for the brackets three four for the uh, 
brackets that it actually sits on that hold it. Uh, there's the beautiful toolbox from AFE Modeler, resin printed, 3D resin printed, amazing detail on it. As you can see there, really really nice little addition. These on the back there, you have to stick them on separate and I found this has got um, a groove on it that sits in a channel on the back. When you put the back plate on, you'll notice there's a little channel. Where these fit in that said channel and I had to sand that side down, that side down for the for the for it to sit in that channel properly because it was really really tight but that, as again that could have just been me could have been what I done one two three pieces for that other than that the back was no problem at all so here's the front of the tank as you can see this front plate is in two parts and in mine it was quite badly bowed I'm guessing that was just the way it had travelled in the box so what I've en ended up with is a, when I put this front piece on tiny tiny little gap around the back of the weld bead on there on there getting s the gap was getting smaller and smaller this way until it ended up pretty much nothing on that side uh, this I had a problem with that little piece there has got like a knot well there's a notch in the in the plate there either side a big a big one on that side and a smaller one on that side and underneath this there was little uh, tabs that stuck down which were supposed to fit into the notches in the top but as you can see I've had to fill it because the notches come way over here somewhere so I don't know what happened with that not a problem I filled it with uh, Vallejo plastic putty let it dry for a few hours sanded it and then just stuck that on with glue and then just whacked a bead of putty around it because there was a little bit of a gap this comes in one two three four parts no problems with that behind that is the vision block let me see if I can zoom in on it. No, you won't see it. Anyway, there's a plastic clear vision block and I've painted it uh, crystal green. I've got a crystal green which is a very, very, very thin paint. And it just puts like a little green sheen over it. So it's not all completely sheer see-through. That's one piece there, another piece behind it, and those two little butterfly clips are separate. And I've put cut marks on the front there because it was just plain shiny plastic. So we've got cut marks, and you can see those tiny little hooks which that end at the end underneath slits in fits into a little uh, notch inside the plastic and that goes on the end there no problems with that the toe there on no problems with them everything's good in the hood my friend so that's what I've done so far on the beastie boy the 116 Tiger 1 uh, today I'm planning on painting the tracks if I, I honestly don't think that they're gonna fit on this bench because they're so long let me get set here I'll show you they're pretty long my friends oh I don't know they might fit on the bench They're quite long, as you can see. 
lovely tracks but a pain in the ass put together basically if you ask my opinion I don't like doing all that cutting bores me to tears but they're done they're workable and they're very very nice to look at so we're gonna stick with them anyway let's let me get some set up and uh, I'll be back in a tick and we'll do some track painting so there's the tracks laid out they're rolled up at the other end a little bit because it's just too long an old 20 pence piece here so what I use to start off with is that dark tracks it's, you can see the colour is pretty much that's chocolate brown and that's dark tracks they're pretty much the same I mean tiny little bit different but hey ho it's called dark track so we use it uh, I'm going to use my water Eclipse 0.5 needle lid off let's get some paint in the cup And I'm just going to use a few drops of thinner. It is quite thin anyway, the paint. Stir, stir, stir. And I don't anticipate this going very far, this paint. So what I'm going to do is mix some chocolate brown in with it. Shake, shake, shake. Lid off. Oh, it's a bit scuzzy. I haven't used it for a long, long time. There you go. So what I'll do is top that up with a chocolate brown bit more thinner notice how technical I am with the thinner looks a bit fat to me try a little bit more stirring stick to one side now I'll stick the lid in because I've learned from my mistakes that I do shake the brush around and when it's full like that I will get it everywhere I'll take the uh, needle cap off so I can keep an eye on what's happening with the needle and we're almost ready to rock and roll my friends Make sure I get all the uh, ends. Don't want any grey plastic screaming out at us. So it's already taking shape.
bit that you're getting it all. That's all the guide horns and all the ends. All the colours in all the sizes. Right. So we've still got a nice healthy cup full, as you can see. A little bit more on there. So what I'm going to do is I'll finish these off off camera because you don't want to. It'll be literally like watching paint dry. So I'll do this off camera and then we'll come back and have a little looky looky. In fact I'll turn it over and we'll do the same little bit on the front and then I'll do it off camera. Because I think this is where it's going to use a lot of paint up on this. So you're going to have to hit it from all kinds of angles to make sure you get all the grey painted, really, which is what you want. going to be a long laborious process so I'll catch you on the other side so there we have both sets of tracks with their first coat of dark tracks and chocolate brown mixture that, that cup full of paint lasted till about the last five links and I thought I would have to um, refill the whole cup up but it lasted for about the last five links and then we ran out so that's what we're looking at Tracks got the first coat now what I'm going to have to do is rest a while because the air tank on the compressor is red hot mate you can't even put your finger on it it's that hot so I'm gonna have to leave that to cool down and uh, then we'll come back and see what's to be done some splitter splatters some uh, washes with various tones of browns and reds and oranges etc etc you know the deal boys and girls so there's the nice bolt detail on the trap pins you can see like I said before not very nice tracks but an absolute bastard to have to sit there and cut all those links off and all those trap pins hey ho it's done now so we're gonna leave this for now and then come back later I'm gonna take the dogs out because it's a beautiful morning take the dogs out come back have a nice cup of tea and then we'll get back onto it see you in a bit